Now here's something that actually I didn't show you in the last in the last playthrough. I have uh, I received a bronze star um, for my meritorious actions, and I don't really remember what they are. So uh, whatever. Let's go on. Isn't it pretty though? Huh. You're gonna see a lot more of them medals in the future. So we've oh we got maniac now. Oh hey Rip, I'm maniac. Glad to meet ya. Bossman says we're gonna see some action against some battleships soon. What a goofy looking dude. I can't wait. Dodging flak and fighter cover to make a mission. A missile did run at a destroyer. Man, that'll be a rush. Get in there quick, waste the mama cat. Off one by one. That's the way to do it. You sound like an idiot, Maniac. But you are an idiot. Okay, that's fine. You met Maniac and Bossman over there? Maniac's a real lunatic. Good pilot, but way too erratic. He was just coming up when the fleabags put me out of commission. Just between you and me, I'd rather fly alone with, than with Maniac on my wing. Bossman's another story, though. He's a real team leader. Maybe that's why he's got the name Bossman. A crack pilot with 17 years behind him. Flown everything in the Terran fleet. And blown up at least one of every class of the... Every class the Kilrathi have. Sit down, Rip. They call me Bossman. I've been watching you. look good for a rookie. You handle yourself well in a dogfight. But we're gonna be facing some bigger ships soon. Alright, some serious action. <laughs> Whoa, I know Kung Fu. A lot of young pilots get excited when they see their first destroyer. Just what do you mean by that, boss? They lose their heads and go straight in for the battleship. Then they get raped. Uh, uh, then a light fighter they forgot about blasts them from behind. Big ships move slow and turn like pigs. What? Pigs? What? Thing to do is clean up the fighter cover first. Then go in for the battleship. don't like pork, do you? Delicious. Alright, yeah, here we go. 15 kills, 3 sorties, huh? Averaging 5, 5 for 1. 5 every mission. Let's see how I'm gonna do in this mission. Now, one thing I do want to show you eventually is failure. So maybe this will be one of those failure episodes where I just die. Or I fail my mission. You know, all of these things are possible. Especially when you're going to go into a destroyer because their flak will eat you up pretty bad. And if you don't get, uh... If you, if you don't get... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have uh, torpedoes or in this. I haven't played this game in a long time. We've got to clean up the enemy presence here at McAuliffe. Before the tankers and sports start to arrive tomorrow. We've detected a large bogey about 90... Thousand clicks out. They jumped in about 20 minutes ago and seems to be headed this way. It might just be a transport, but it's probably a small warship. Rip, you and Paladin are going to go out and get a look at it. And destroy it if you can. Okay, I'm about to say, just get a look. Faith Lot, the title be a challenge. Here's your flight plan. Yeah, go to Nav 1, blow some crap up, and come back home. That sounds super easy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we'll probably kill some people, then blow up the destroyer, then come back. Alright, let's go, boys. Suit up. Okay. 
can see the setup in every ship is different. So, um, what we got here is, uh, shipping, uh, switching through my weapons using, my missiles using W. W weapon, switch weapons, press W. Paladin. So I'm gonna tell him to break an attack now. So I should speed up. Speed up, speed up, come on, speed up. Alright, whatever. Take your time. I know, another thing I've been having issues with this game, like I said in the first Let's Play, is I've had issues with speed. Sometimes the game goes way too slow, and sometimes it goes way too fast. And it's, it's both because I tried to, I've been toggling the speeds, uh, which has been, this has made it quite difficult uh, to, to know when to turn it up and when to turn it down. And it's also, to speed up, I believe it's Control F12. To slow down is Control F11. Now, if you're flying a ship with a joystick and you want to s quickly slow down, you have to take both of your hands off the stick and go press one of these things until you think it's about right and then go back to your stick, which means while you're pressing these buttons and you're trying to speed things up, you're gonna get shot at it at a much faster rate. And you can see, right, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like turbo mode, like Super, like Super Nintendo days or whatever. So anyway, things go much faster, it's really hard to shoot anything. And you will die very quickly. So far I'm doing pretty good, I don't have any major damage to my, uh, to my armor. Not yet, at least. Oh, where are my shields? Oh, I got you sputtering. Got you sputtering. Damage to your front makes your engines sputter. Interesting. Maybe it's your intakes I damaged. Are you running away? He's running away. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Not cool. You ain't getting away from me, man. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Only... Oh, oh, you're done, buddy. Here I come. I'm hoping Paladin can take care of himself. Don't follow me, Paladin. You're gone, bud. Come on. Come on! I should've hit ya. Oh, come Here you go, bug boy. Where's Paladin? He's off my radar. It's not good. Maybe if I, uh... Should I tell him to form a little How can I talk to him when I can't actually see him? Okay. Oh, he's coming to me now. Okay, I see. Do I have an auto? Yeah? Okay. Alright. What's going on over here? Enemies upon us. Alright. Break and attack. In case you forget, C means you know, press C for communications. Then, you know, you can choose from your list of what you want to do. Oh, yo, what? They caught you with your kill down. We just started battle. What, are you taking a dump? I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna let him call a couple of times more before I go and save him. Hopefully he's fine. I just don't know how he can already be so badly hurt. I don't like these guys. Oh, oh, oh. These cramped ships. I don't really care for them too much. They're pretty difficult. I have to fight. Not too bad. Kind of reminds me of some of the later ships. I think they're called Jalpies or something. They're also a bitch to kill. Yeah, you see, oh man, all these old games, this should be awesome, so awesome back in the day, to watch these, watch it now, it's, it's still a fun game to play, but you can definitely see the limitations of the, the, the technology at the time, which is totally understandable. If you haven't played these kinds of games before, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see if, you know, if it's actually really difficult to, for you to get into an old game like this, where, you know, the graphics are, you know, it's all rasterized, old school 2D sprites that you're looking at and it um, it brings definite hard limitations not only into of course the visuals but into the gameplay itself so one of these ships ship uh, ships shift it, it can really mess you up and sometimes you'll be shooting at the middle of the ship and you'll see your your uh, bullets go 
straight through. Okay, okay. See, my wasted my front shield, so I get back just a bit so I can let them recharge. <coughs> I'm not gonna face these things head forward. They're destroyers. They're gonna get rid of me pretty quick. Afterburners in this game are tab, and they will make you run out of fuel. Otherwise, your engines don't run on regular fuel. I don't know what they run on in these games, but basically, fuel is only for your afterburners. So when you're out of fuel, you're out of afterburner. And afterburners are really a great way to quickly get out of the uh, the firing radius of these destroyers, and also to get yourself some distance uh, to get out of firing range and let your shields recharge. See, you can see I'm right now I've been shooting the crap out of this thing. You see the bullets going straight through. Going straight, not, not hitting anything. How can it not be hitting it? I'm just like shooting straight right right in the middle almost. So I'm gonna reposition myself. No, no, I need to get right behind it. Okay. Right behind it. Well, I'm trying. Right behind it. Oh, it's close. Is that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. You're done, buddy. Oh, boy. That's right. We're done. All right. Now remember to land on the tiger claw. Ask for permission to land and then maneuver to the front. This is the front, right here. If you approach it from any other angle, you will run into it, so be very careful. Uh, a couple of holes, not too bad, what you trying to say? Yeah, just a little hot, buddy. Just a little hot. Got some good, got on someone's tail, rode it hot. That's how it goes. Wah, wah, wah. Yes, right. Did all the work, sir. I was just along for the ride. Those kill routes and destroyers really aren't much to worry about, sir. I don't know, Rip. They had you outgunned as well as outnumbered. Now to review the mission. The quarter shows you killed five, Rip. My paladin. Hey, you got one! Nice, good job. By the way, we've identified the big bogey as a Rilari class destroyer. I have no idea what that means. Good job taking her out. That's all. Dismissed. Oh, oh, I got another award. What did I get? Do I get another. Uh, do I get a promotion this time? No? For meritorious conduct. Confronting the Karathi enemy. Long pause. In the McAuliffe system on or about 2654.115. It's been like, like three days since I got the last award. The Terran Confederation is proud to present the Bronze Star. I already got the Bronze Star. To First Lieutenant Ram On. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Rip. Congratulations. Welcome to my other Bronze Stars. Do I have two Bronze Stars now? That doesn't make much sense to me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he has the goofiest looking smile. It's like, like butthead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Star. <laughs> I can't do that very well, can I? Alright, so we're gonna end our episode here. Good night.